We are about set to drop the puck as both centers make their way into the dock. Every game critical in the postseason. This one no different, and we are underway. Yaroslav is looking to break out of their own end. Here's a shot. Stones up with the blocker. Rebound control is critical in the game of hockey. Putting it to the corner, and now the offensive player has to pound the puck. Check to slow down. Shot! And the goaltender comes up on a piece of it to keep it out of the net. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck that's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. Comes up with the stop. Puryar's got it along the wing. Season. Oh, he does it. James gets his first playoff goal. I mean, it's incredible the confidence that this should give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. Well, he's right in the slot, that prime scoring area, and he corrals it on his backhand. That's a great play to get it off quickly. Yaroslavl's finding another level here in the back half of the first, now up by one. Well, they're playing their brand of hockey, aren't they, James? I mean, they've been so competitive, and it would look like this is a pretty tight game, but it's not when you look at the shot selection and the shot share. They have just dominated in terms of having the majority of shots on net. Comes up with a big pass save! Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. Yaroslavl's got possession of the puck. There's a shot. Oh, he made the save! Play continues. Listen to these fans. They're starting to get loud and recognizing what we saw not long ago here, Cheryl. Yeah, James. I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. Hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board. And guess what? The goaltender knows it. Taken along the wall by Chekovic. Across the line. Centering pass. And he denies that great opportunity. out there, but he's dialed in and doing it all himself, making consecutive saves. Officials have got both teams ready, and it looks like play is set to resume here. Iliakis has won the draw inside his own end. And that's just out of reach. And with that, the first period is in the books. Both teams with a chance and a refresh will get a clean sheet of ice and come back with period number two. Which one of your team players has the hardest shot? A chance for both teams to refuel. They are back on the ice, and period number two is about set to go. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, Cheryl, already a third of this one played. What do you make of this one? Moscow's had a rough start to the opening frame, James. I mean, just they didn't possess the puck. They've had a lot of turnovers. And as a result, their opponent has a lead. Oh, he hit him and caught all of it. Oh, and that's a tough one, James. You're along the boards. They don't have a lot of give. What that means, you're feeling it all. Oh, it stays out. He's got a piece of that one. Wow, this is a tough one to take. He is such a huge part of this team. You know that at a critical juncture of the game, he typically cashes in and the entire team responds alongside of him. Not this time. The goalie makes a great save. yaroslavl has got the lead on the scoreboard. A big reason to that has been the amount of pucks that they've been putting on net. Moscow's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. It's always amazing to watch the bench when the leader of the group scores, James, because there's an energy, there's a, a fun-like atmosphere that is contagious, and you can certainly feel that he brings it to this group each and every time.
The Dynamo have some jump in their step here in period number two. They started with a lot of pace in this period and they're rewarded for it. Moscow's won the draw in the neutral zone. Sends a pass over. And he takes the feed. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny those zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. Officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. The lost connection. Have it in their own zone. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. Well, in this situation, he is going to get the tripping call. I thought he had good position there on his opponent, James, fishing for the puck. Just used his stick, and it got into the skates. Tripping is the call. Oshikanov's known for taking one for the team, guys. His ice pack zone ability, it allows him to block shots and keep pucks from reaching the net, even if it stings him a little bit. Moscow's got a hold of the puck. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And somehow he hangs on. Looks like we got a delayed tripping penalty coming up here. Big save in front. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. Kurnets called for tripping. He's off to the box. And it's four against four here with the puck set to drop. A few ways to play a four on four. You can sit back or you can be very aggressive on the puck. But you have to make sure that you're aware as well. There's more ice out there for your opponent too. Centering pass in front. Great defensive play to pick off the pass. Huge steal at his own end. We got a penalty coming up here on the play. He got all of that hit. There's the whistle and here's the call. Well, that's going to be an interference call, and it's a deserved one. You can't impede the forward progress of your opponent, and that's what happens here. Moscow's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Though they haven't scored on the power play yet, man, it is a tough thing to do, and this is an earned opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing, it'll come. And they move the puck out of harm. Jam. Sends it ahead to Polino. Pokes it away in his own end. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. Wheels actions pretty evident in the eyes of the officials here for tripping. Set to drop. We've got some four on four coming up. Four on four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards. The forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. Misses wide. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Nice job to escape the zone. Takes the puck. Here's a shot. And there's a club save on the play. There's the buzzer, bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast. <sighs> Welcome back to EA Sports, the final frame of this one. Yaroslav has won the opening face-off as their power play continues. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. What a goal! Oh. 
I really like the way they move the puck around to wait for the right time to be able to move that puck for the one-timer in that low slot area. He didn't have much time to get it off, but he got some wood on it and buried it. yaroslav has got the lead here in period number three. So, Cheryl, do you protect or do you keep on pushing now? I think there's a fine balance here. I mean, you don't just want to play to hold on. You want to attack for the win, James, but you got to recognize where you are on the ice and you got to trust who you put out there. Here's a chance! Scores! And we are back to even! Yeah, tie game now, James. I really like the energy that they showed throughout the game, but now it's about channeling the energy they just created and doing something with it. Now this is just a laser of a shot that beats the goaltender clean and everyone knew it was coming including the goaltender. They just couldn't catch up to it. We're still in the early stages of this period. It's all tied up. Yaroslavl's won the draw. And he takes the dish. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And he sprints to the bench to get the extra attacker out on the ice. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. The Dynamo have been called for tripping. success on the power play I think they'll operate in the same fashion James in that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team looking to clear the defensive zone now the point of a power play James is have an advantage and there has been none right here as you can see the puck being sent back all the way to their zone they have to find a way to connect on those passes and create some opportunities They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Got to give the penalty kills a lot of credit as the penalty expires. A really nice job by this PK unit, James. Just negating scoring opportunities. Good goaltending as well. Got to be your best killer. But finding ways to get it down the ice and keeping this game tied. And that pass goes off a stick. Oh, a true warrior to block that. Moves inside. play and nothing decided that means we've got overtime and it's coming up right after this players are back on the ice they're set as of the officials overtime let's find out Let's get the call from the officials. Well, overtime is sudden death, and now you find yourself shorthanded. Well, the PK unit, they know their role. They would come out here, sacrifice their bodies, and get it done. Moscow's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Power play in overtime. You know the players, the heart rate is elevated. They're on their toes. Coach's responsibility to settle them down, remind them of their systems so they can get it on the ice and execute. Pucks them down the ice. Slides the puck over. He's got a chance to win it here. Oh, what a save. That was the game right there. Wow. Timing is everything, James, and this is overtime. You have to outbattle your opponent. And wow, what a beautiful save and read by the tender. 
Moscow's got the puck against the boards. Oh, he saved it! What a stop! Now that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out-battle and out-will his opponent to find the puck. Back to the point it goes. Takes the feed. Moscow's at the back end. Handles that one. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. Moscow's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Does it again with the stop? You can certainly tell that the goaltender is dialed in on that last sequence of saves, James. He's to position, so he finds a way to make multiple saves back to back. Takes the pass. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. appreciation you also want to play for them he's got the game on his stick and that's broken up well he thought he had a lot of time there but the defender makes a great play works hard to get back to position and takes away the shot big stop right there oh what another save Yaroslavl's got a hold of the puck now we got a delayed penalty coming up here as the ref's hand goes up in the air goaltenders at the bench with the delayed penalty being called They've got an extra attacker now on the ice. Whistle blown, stopping the play. Everyone has a role on a team, and this PK unit right now in overtime has to do a job if they want to remain in the game. Yaroslavl's special teams have another big opportunity to deliver here. Alexeyev's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Great heads up play by the defender. Puck clears the zone. Furyar's got it in the defensive end. Shoot. Moves the puck. There's the horn, and still no winner in sight, so we will continue to play on in this sudden death overtime. Stick around. to go. Yaroslavl's won the draw to start the period and they go right back to work on the man advantage. With the blast! And just a little too much air on that one as it sails over the net. I know when I was young I thought high was always better, James. But you have to get it low and get it on net. Give your team an opportunity for a rebound. Oh, excellent play and goal! Tough, James. You have a chance to end the game, and instead it's going back and forth. Really gave your opponent momentum. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Takes a shot. Oh, ball out. It stays out. And we'll get a reset after the puck goes up and out of play. Shot, and it goes right off his bucket to stay out. Gives him a 
tap with the stick, and the referees don't like it. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. The official calls a penalty in overtime and power play opportunity here to finish it off and win the game. Yaroslavl's got a huge opportunity on this power play. Oh, James, a power play in overtime. Who is going to be the hero in this one? Offense is own face off and he wins the draw. Nothing! Sometimes when you have the puck on your stick in a primetime scoring area, it's not about threading the needle. And when you try and thread it, sometimes you miss. And that's what happened there. To the front! Here's a chance! Yaroslavl's got the puck along the board. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Yaroslavl's got the puck against the half wall. Scratched and they deserve that win tonight. Two teams that give no quarter through the entire series and then it comes to this. I love it. I love it as well, James. I mean, whether you're on the, the winning side or the losing side, this is a must. You have to find respect for your opponent who battled over and over with you through this series. And that'll do it from this one here tonight for all of us at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. Good night.